Okay, so what do you need to know or hear about the person in question? This could be for a relationship or connection. You know, you're not quite sure about it. Or you don't know where you stand with this person. You don't know if you should move forward or move on from this person or move forward and wait for this person. Let's see what the cards say. Oh, we got a popper. So we're going to keep that. What do we need to know? For the person that's catching this, watching this, seeing this, what do we need to know about the connection that's in question? All right, let's see. Let's start with these. So to me, this is like an older energy already that's coming through. We got a lot of reversed cards here. To me, that's a lot of blocked energy. I feel like the person that you might be dealing with, I feel like this person is very like financial focused. They really care a great deal about their future, about what they're going to have in the future. They're worried about retirement, where they're going to be. They're worried if they're going to have enough money in the bank. They're worried about work. They're worried about their career. How are they going to retire? How are they going to leave out their career? They are very loyal once they're committed, but it takes a lot for them to commit. This is somebody who really does want to make sure they have all their ducks in a row. This is somebody who really wants to make sure they have something to bring to the table. But there's like a lot of blocked energy. I feel like the blocked energy around this, like there's a wanting, there's a longing. There's, you know, there's a sense to me of this sadness around this, this longing for this person this need to reach out to me there's an air sort of of like no closure wanting an answer wanting this connection again wanting communication again and sort of someone who really kind of it's fair it's like you know you want a yes or no but you also kind of, I feel like, feel like this person kind of owes it to you or you should have this coming. Okay. What I get is this person is super focused on their career, super focused on like what they're going to have. Let's see what else we need to know about this person in question. We have a lot of reversals in this. So I feel like if they walked away, because we got it in reversed, they regret it. They regret it. Even though it's behind them, they regret it. Let's see what else we got. Okay. We got a bunch more. So what I'm feeling is this person... Yeah, they do regret this. They regret that they may have not given you an explanation. They definitely have their mind on you. Okay. They kind of are a little more logical though. They're not as much in their heart space as they are in their head space. And they're more future focused than past focused. So your energy could feel too, like, you know, what did I do, to, you know, to make this happen? Or what did I do? What did I say? You know, what didn't I do? You may be blaming yourself where you don't necessarily have to blame yourself. I feel like this person walked away, but they regret it and they struggled with it. This, this person, I feel like is male energy. They, they definitely, they struggled. They debated themselves about this, but they had to do it. I feel like to go after a goal or something that they had to have it. it if they didn't they would have missed this opportunity so you have a lot of regrets they do too but i feel like the regret is really lying with you and you do feel like maybe you gave too much of into this situation or you know you gave more than them i also feel like there is going to be a period of death and rebirth here and 
I also feel like they do see you as somebody, as a potential partner, somebody that has it all, somebody that's very nurturing, very loving, very motherly, very mothering. They kind of want that. They respect that. They like that. Not that they're a mama's boy. No, no. Not that they're like, um, you know, they're looking for a, a mom or mommy. That's not it at all. They're looking for somebody to build with. That's what they're all about. They're all about building and that's what they want. So I do get a sense that, you know, they want the traditional life a little bit. They want the family life. They want the house. They want, you know, money in the bank. I feel like, yes, they do see, see you as like the ideal woman and there is love there. But I also feel like it's just it has to develop at the pace it is. It's for a reason. It has to develop at the rate it's going for a reason. If there's pauses in this connection, it's for a reason. It's for this person to obtain their goal. It's what they walked away from you for. And they didn't, like, it wasn't like they weren't, weren't thinking, oh my God, is this the right thing? Should I, you know, stay or go? So they do have remorse there. And they do think of you. But they're so focused on this future, you know, goal that they're just trying to focus there. They're just trying to put their energy there. Look, there is absolutely love there. And there's an opportunity for love and for that love to grow. So what is like holding them back right now? What is holding them back right now from making a move? Let's see. So what I got was in reverse. Again, I feel like a lot of reversed energy. I feel like they don't have, they're not there yet. They're not quite there yet with that goal. I feel like they might be working on a house or uh, like apartment, condo, something, a better living situation. I feel like that's a big part of it. I also got yeah, the Nine of Pentacles. To me, this is saying somebody who's paying off debts, getting their financial um, house in order, becoming more financially independent, and possibly even becoming like their own boss or their owner of their or the owner. I'm sorry, of their own company. Something with this financial independence. This is big theme throughout this whole reading. And then we got this Five of Swords, which I feel like this has to do with past debts. This has to do with baggage this has to do with some things from the past that they're trying to clear they're trying to let go they're trying to heal they're trying to you know clear their mind of the darkness or the darker things and i feel like again they're going after their dreams fiercely they want it and strength they do see you as like this strong loving kind of spiritual nurturing like understanding person they see you as like this very empathic person but they have a lot of work to do so i don't think like it's a take it personal so let's see from angels what do we need to know more about the future of this timing if anything what do we need to do know or focus about okay so look it's also there's a message from angels is compromise when you do come back together with this person there will be, like, in other words, you may need to compromise. They may need to compromise. You may need to meet halfway about some things, like whatever it is, whether it's finances or where, where you would live or how many children or marriage or commitment. And look, we've also got listen to your intuition. So I feel like you may know this in the back of your mind that this person, you know, cares for you or like might want to be with you. Um, and they may not have, you know, expressed it in the best way because they're not very expressive. They are more focused on, you know, what they need to do to obtain their goals. But it doesn't mean they don't care for you. So let's get one more. And look it. I mean, it seems like far off, but a year from now, either this person is going to have what they want and be in a much more stable place and in a better place to come to you, to be with you. That's what I got. And I'm clearing these away because the last cards I'm gonna use are some inner peace cards. Unshakable inner peace oracle cards. So this is gonna be just for you. Like what to focus on in the meantime? What to focus on? What should you focus on in the meantime? 
Whether you choose to wait for this person or not, or you choose to stay on this path or not, what should you be working on? All right. So out of the woods, you've made it through, and I also got this one. So let's read this one first. Deep inward journey. You'll be rewarded for the work. Yeah, it's going to be inner work for you. Definitely working on possibly your shadow side, possibly your um, wounds. <coughs> Excuse me. That's what I'm getting. Possibly the, it, the shadow work, going deep, going within, trying to heal the broken child, trying to heal wounds from the past, um, exes, past baggage, people that have hurt you, do some... Um, Centering, some grounding, some inner work, some forgiving, maybe some journaling. Um, and really focus on you and your healing. And then out of the woods, you've made it through. So I feel like once you, you know, it goes together. Once you do the inner work, you get to another level. You raise your consciousness. You raise your vibration. You become more light you become more open to love and more open to communication. So it looks like some work to do. And then we're going to leave with one more. And then make sure you guys are following me on Instagram, on TikTok and YouTube here and on Facebook. Eliminate distractions. Stop shining light on things you are not. So yeah, it really looks like get rid of all the distractions around you, whatever it is, and really, really try to pull in and focus on yourself. Love and light. See you guys next time, and thanks for tuning in.